In the world of motorcycle audio, Diamond Audio has been hard at work innovating, creating new products for all these enthusiasts. They've come up with incredible solutions and really have owned in and paired their pedigree in legendary car audio and have that quality of sound that you know Diamond Audio is good for. This is CMA Networks presented by Sirius XM, all about Diamond Audio. And it starts now. All right, guys, welcome to another session here on CMA Networks. We're talking motorcycle audio. More specifically, we're getting into Diamond Audio. You know, that brand that is synonymous with car audio competitions and high quality output. Yes, well, they've been really serious about motorcycle audio for quite some time now. And today you're going to find out just how deep that catalog goes. I've got their product specialist in the studio with us today, Mr. Brian Piper. Now, Brian, we got a lot to cover, and when we're planning for the show, we're like, oh my God, where do we begin? But I think we've come up with a menu that dealers can follow along, and at the end of it, they're going to understand exactly why Diamond Audio is so serious with motorcycle audio. So what are they going to learn about today? Hi, Ben. Uh, yeah, so today we're going to talk about motorcycle audio speakers, amplifiers, lid kits, DSPs, accessories, everything you need to make a great audio system built well for your consumers and make it easy for our dealers to put these things together in a way that works for them and for their customer. Well, Brian, I'm ready to get into it and I know our dealers are as well. But before that, a quick word from our sponsor, SiriusXM, reminding you why it's so great to be a SXM dealer. And when we come back, let's dive into Diamond Audio, Motorcycle Audio. Hey guys, Ricky Lima here from SiriusXM. I had a chance to speak to some dealers and ask them what they love about selling Sirius XM. Here's what they had to say. Coast to coast coverage. I love Sirius XM for commercial free music. It's a great add on sale and a profit opportunity. We love selling Sirius XM because you can listen to the same channel coast to coast. Profitability and ease of installation. It's a no brainer. We love selling Sirius XM for its ease of installation, great profitability and its reliability. People love it. All right, welcome back. Diamond Audio in the motorcycle audio game. No slouch. Get ready. Take some notes. We got a lot to cover. But before that, let's establish the premise. Let's establish the storyline here. Brian, help us understand at what point did Diamond Audio get real serious about motorcycle audio and what is the commitment as of right now? So Diamond Audio got into motorcycle audio several years back. It's kind of been a, a growing category. I don't know that there's really a specific timeline of when we really started getting serious about it um but for the last several years it's been one of our focuses uh as we develop our, our smaller amps our micro series amps and things like that that's what's really getting us to that point of being a leader in the segment of motorcycle audio so with our pedigree of of sound quality and high performance that all just kind of leads into we want to make what we produce for motorcycle audio enthusiasts the best that it can be from Diamond Audio. Well, let's get into the gear. I think a good starting point would be the speakers because Diamond offers, in fact, three different series of speakers that are appropriate for motorcycle audio. So, Brian, help us break down what the differences between these series are. Absolutely, Ben. So the three different series that we work with are the HXM F series, which is a fully waterproof, uh, it's a marine grade speaker, uh, has built-in LEDs. It is a titanium dome tweeter, poly cone, poly basket, high power handling, relatively efficient, uh, works great for the guys that, that just want overall fantastic sound without killing the budget. Then you talk about MP series, which is our Pro audio style mid-range with a compression tweeter built into it. These are extremely loud. They're very efficient, make tons and tons of power or take tons and tons of power, but also are still clean and clear when they're cor built correctly into an audio system. And then lastly, we talk about the Neo series, which is our newest high performance line. These are like the cream of the crop of 
of speakers. We have them in mid-range, and now we offer two off two variants of a mid-bass driver. These are a mid-range speaker or mid-bass driver, and then you add a component tweeter to them. Uh, very high power handling and extremely, extremely clean and clear and, and durable for a motorcycle environment. So three different sets of speakers. Now, here's a great opportunity. We're going to bring in their Canadian distributor, Dick's Performance, and representing them, of course, is our man, Dave McLean. Dave, lots of speaker options, and that's got to be advantageous for dealers to have such a selection for this application. Yeah, Ben, it's great to have the options. Uh, obviously, we can hit a lot of different price points with Diamond. Uh, so we can get a guy started from the, the simple HXMs that uh, Brian alluded to, all the way up to the MS Neos, which really are a standout performer from Diamond. Uh, these are a benchmark, I think, for the industry uh, on, on price point and power handling. And uh, couldn't be happier to have the options for our consumers. Uh, you know, because Diamond doesn't do things the traditional way with audio kits in this world, uh, it leaves us a lot of options to help a customer get the right audio for their bike at the right price point. I couldn't agree more, Dave. That is quite the selection. I mean, I've seen some brands have one offering. Now Diamond has three. That's certainly something to think about. Now, on that topic of speakers, let's talk more specifically about mid-bass now. We all know mid-bass is a deal when it comes to motorcycle audio. We want that punch in those mid-range frequencies. So what makes the Neo mid-bass driver from the Diamond Audio line so special? Yeah, Ben, the Neo mid-bass drivers, that's kind of a new offering for us, but it was something that we looked at that was very much a need. Lots of people try to put subwoofers in their in their saddlebags or in a touring pack and things like that. The drawback to it is, is it adds an excessive amount of weight when you're trying to put two subwoofers in saddlebags, <clears throat> which if anybody rides knows that the more weight you put in those bags, the harder it is to ride. And you have to keep it balanced. So if you've got too much weight, one side or the other it becomes an unbalanced ride things like that but also the performance these mid-bass drivers are designed to give you great mid-bass impact kick drum impact fill in that bottom end without being overly heavy we use neo magnets in them they are very efficient so you can power them well without having to feed them gobs and gobs of power uh even at you know, a power rating of 350 watts RMS. Uh, we have guys that are running them with 200, 250 watts, and they work really well. They do the job. So the efficiency of this mid-bass driver really lends to how well they perform. Yeah, so we've got the 8-inch mid-bass here on the on the table, and as you can see, it's a very slim application to fit in all those bags. Obviously, if you, you get brackets from a man, major manufacturer of saddlebag uh, accessories, these are going to fit in all those brackets. Uh, like Brian said, very efficient speaker. Uh, the 8 actually is a rated 60 hertz to 6,000. Uh, and a little birdie has told me that these will play all the way down to 45 very efficiently. And then there's a 10-inch version of this. A uh, little less efficient. It is a 55 to 3K. Uh, and uh, both great performers. Both will play on multi-channel amplifiers. So you can add these to a system if you've got open channels. Now, with all these vast offerings in speakers, and I know we're going to get into other categories, I can't help but address, well, what some may call the elephant in the room, uh, Brian, in that Diamond Audio doesn't offer any pre-made kits per se. What is the strategy behind this? Yeah, so pre-made kits or plug-and-play kits of that nature for what we're doing in motorcycle audio really just doesn't benefit our dealers to the best of their ability. So when we looked at this, we we have so many offerings with the different variations of speakers that we make. Those being included in our lid kits and things like that, it, it was easier for us to educate our dealers on how they could go about building packages in-house. So they can brand these to themselves. They know the product. They stock the inventory they need to make these packages work. And then they... in involve the customer and they get them in on this and they educate the, the customer about what works best for their application. Yeah, Ben, so like Brian alluded to, uh, there are no kits. Uh, everything is basically an a la carte program. Um, what's really important about an a la carte program is that you have less stock on the shelves. Uh, you can service more customers with less parts. Um, that being said, there are a ton of parts and a ton of options. Um, I'm just going to turn my table here really quick. Uh, we have the MP694s. Uh, that is your horn-loaded 
uh, Fairweather Rider uh, speaker system. And of course, if they want the same type of output, but they're a water conscious rider, we have the coax subwoofer. Uh, those fit in the lid kits as well. And then of course, if we've got our, we want to drive the system and we want to have the concert follow us down the highway, we have our MS Neo series six by nines. And of course, all of those speakers have a six and a half equivalent or an eight inch mid bass equivalent uh, for most of the applications uh, in the Neo series. Uh, with that, you get all of Diamond's vehicle specific uh, accessories. So we've got a really nice grill that fits over the Neo. And of course, with that, we can add in our billet tweeters into the grill or into a side pocket on the bike. Uh, and the reason why they don't kit them is that every rider wants something different. Uh, we don't want to be the same as the guy that's just down the street from us. We want to have something unique. We have custom paint. We have custom handlebars. We've got custom seat materials. Why not custom built car audio or bike audio? So naturally progressing down this conversation, we're going to talk about some amplifiers because we need some power to power these crazy drivers. Now, what does Diamond Audio offer in this category? Because there's different kind of needs. You know, when you're talking about power, you're talking about multi-channel, you're talking about small footprint. Brian, what does Diamond Audio have to offer? So in amplifiers, Ben, we have a couple of very popular series of amplifiers that, that fit this category. Uh, our most popular is the Micro 8U series, which is a small footprint, big power, uh, multi-channel options. Our most popular are two-channel, four, two four-channel, and eight-channel. They are all uh, conformal coated boards. They are small footprint and produce quite a bit more power than what we actually rate them at. And they are, you know, being two ohm stable, they work well with our mid bass drivers. If you want to use a two ohm mid bass driver on, you know, say like you're doing an eight channel amp in a street glide and everything will fit under the fairing, put a DSP in, put the amp in and everything's done on one amplifier pretty easily. And it gives you a great sounding bike. Uh, if you need to step up and you, you're going to be one of those guys riding in all kinds of weather, then you want to look at our DXM amplifiers, which are a fully sealed uh, IP7 rated amplifier. Uh, these are a bigger footprint, a little bit more power. And again, they're just that that over the top kind of protection level. Yeah, so we've got both amplifiers here on the table today. Uh, obviously, very similar footprints to each other. Uh, offered in more than just a four channel amplifier, obviously. So one channel, two channel, four channel, five channel, eight channel, and very much the same options in the DXM. Um, like Brian said, uh, two different versions, Fairweather Rider, conformal coated, good for moisture, not good for getting wet. Obviously when you're touring and you're crossing a country like Canada and you're gonna run into any weather pattern you could possibly imagine, and you're a guy that really likes to keep his bike clean, um, if you're introducing water into the fairing or anything pressurized, it is a good idea to go waterproof. Uh, if you're that rider that likes to go coast to coast or may not be riding in the perfect weather all the time. And obviously Diamond has a lot of accessories that go for both of these amplifiers and can power any bike audio system that you want to build. So while DSP has been one of the hottest topics for the last few years across the mobile electronics industry, I'm going to say it's relatively new when it comes to open air applications such as motorcycle. But Diamond Audio has been hard at work, kind of innovating in this category, kind of be that leader with DSP, but coming up with DSP units specifically for this application. Now, Brian, I know you preach it a lot, so I'm going to give you every opportunity. Why do dealers need to know about DSP for bike tuning and what do you have to offer in this category? So, Ben, you know, we've talked about this so many times. DSP is, is a tool that helps every audio system sound better. No matter what it's in, whether it's a bike, a spaceship, a car, a boat, a side-by-side, -side, whatever the case it may be, everything sounds better when you can process that signal and balance things out and just give you an overall better performance. So with DSP, for us, we looked at a couple of different options. And what we came up with is we have a six-channel DSP, and then we have an eight-channel DSP. Very few differentiations. They are pretty much the same thing with a couple of different changes. But the big thing is what we are doing is teaching our dealers why DSP is necessary. And we've even gone as far as building a mock bike that we dub Skeletor. And what this does is it gives us the ability to teach and show dealers 
live what the differences are between just doing basic crossover work, then adding in some EQ, and then even getting into time delay, which is something that a lot of people don't think about on motorcycles. So it gives them the experience to understand what the differences are. So as they get into talking about this with their clients, it becomes a more intense discussion. They understand it better and they give the client a better overall experience when they do get a DSP added into their bike. The other benefit of that is by including them when they're doing DSP, there's measurements that need to be taken to set time delay and know how to set the mic for RTA reading. And so it makes it a very personal experience between the client and the dealer. Yeah, so I think the conversation about DSP has to be had with every audio customer we have come in the building these days, especially the motorcycle customer. Uh, this is no longer an option. I think it's a necessity to the build. Uh, we're not doing anybody any favors by not tuning the system properly. Um, and as you can see, there's little to sacrifice. They're so small. So that is an eight by eight right there on the screen uh, against a six by nine. So there's no compromise in, I need a DSP. I need to go down on amplifier size to make everything fit. Uh, there's no compromise here. You can do an eight channel uh, audio system with these. Uh, you can stack this on top of the micro A8 or the, uh, the DXM amplifiers with no restriction in the bike for sizing. Uh, we are very lucky to have an IP7 rating on that DSP. So no worry about moisture or water infiltration into this product. And of course, like everything Diamond built, it's built with quality in mind and it shows. Well, lastly, I want to make sure we got our installers interests covered here because let's make no mistake, Diamond Audio has all but thought about everything, including installation accessories. Uh, Brian wanted to break down a couple important ones that installers need to know about. The efficiency of getting a bike built is very important to dealers. You can't be spending, you know, multiple hours, multiple days trying to take a bike apart and feed wires and cut into harnesses and test and figure out where everything's at. So we've kind of taken care of a lot of that. That also helps uh, prolong the warranty of the bike. So one of the things that we really like to talk about and, and encourage our dealers to use for our 14 and up Harley Davidsons is the MST link, which is a plug and play harness that plugs into the factory radio, plugs into the, the harness of the vehicle, and then gives you RCA output. It gives you speaker output. Uh, there's even a pigtail on there for your DSP uh, to give you everything you need there. The other part we pair with that is the MSPWHR, which is an eight gauge power and ground kit that's predetermined length to run from the battery up to the fairing if you're going to do a fairing install so that everything's already there. You're not pulling wire off spools and wasting wire or cutting too much. It's all predetermined. It's right there. You just sell them as a package. And then if you really get into it and you have uh, CVO or boom audio systems where they have a factory amplifier built in, we also make bypass plugs that you can remove the factory amp, put these jumpers in, and it connects all the wiring right up into the fairing for you so you're not having to run additional wire through the bike if it's already equipped. Uh, and then lastly, my favorite thing is the one foot RCAs that we have. Diamond Audio has a whole array of RCAs but we make one foot two channel RCAs. So once you've gone from the, the MST link into your DSP, then these are perfect for running right into your amplifier without having to coil up a bunch of wire. Yeah, I mean, you gotta have accessories to get these installs done. Uh, you can't do it without these pieces and Diamond offers us a lot of options. So like Brian alluded to, there's the eight gauge kit that takes you to the fairing. They also have two and four channel kits that take you to the bags. So you can add multiple amplifiers across the system, front and back, split up the load and get those installs done properly. Um, not only do they offer the wire, they also offer all of the inserts to allow the wiring to go into the bags nice and clean uh, and make for a very clean install. Depending on the bike and application, because they don't do kits, they offer all the different types of grills. So we've got road glide, street glide grills. We've got pod grills for the lower fairing. Um, we've got adapters for the 90 to 13 bikes that have the five and a quarters to get them up to a six and a half. Uh, those six and a halfs fit the HXM, the Neos, and the older series of HXM speakers that they used to have that are still on the shelf and still a very uh, popular option for those applications. And then just like Brian kind of alluded to, we have the one foot RCAs. You know, not too many brands offer small short runs like this to allow us to install stuff without a, 
a god awful mess behind the fairing, and you almost proud of your install when you're done, and uh, almost want to run it without the fairing half the time. Uh, we do have those bypass plugs as well. They come in a five pack. Uh, there's no shortage of them. Uh, I have them in stock all the time, and uh, no worries about which audio system is on the bike. All five come in every kit. And there you have it, guys. A thorough and complete presentation walking you through the entire offering that Diamond Audio has for the motorcycle category. Um, for you, if you're looking for more information, your dealer, definitely I want to recommend you check out the Diamond Audio website. It's diamondaudio.com. And if you happen to be a dealer in Canada, well, you saw it here. It's Dick's Performance, who is the official distributor for all things Diamond Audio up here in Canada. I want to take this opportunity to thank both Brian and Dave for coming in today and talking to us about, well, how Diamond Audio does motorcycle audio. That's it for this CMA Network's presentation presented by Sirius XM. I'm your host, Ben Wu. Until next time, we connect. There's never been a better time to have Sirius XM with over 150 channels in your vehicle. Your Platinum Plan offer includes more than ever before to enjoy online, on your phone, or at home. Create your own ad-free personalized stations powered by Pandora. Hear ad-free extra channels and enjoy favorite shows with Sirius XM video on demand. What you love is on now.